Hello everyone. The most common question is uh, how is Fire Chain different from other Layer One chains? And I just wanted to give a little introduction on how we different. First of all, in a consensus level, so we are not based on energy consumption, such as for example proof of stake. Neither in who has more money, therefore stake will be the validator, as is proof of work. We are uh, based on proof of benefit, which is uh, our proprietary mechanism of sustainability score. Therefore, our aim is to move the word from for profit to for profit and benefit. And how, how does that happen? Uh, most of our validators will be enterprises who we rank in the weight of how much they contribute to the humanity in terms of environmental and sustainable impact. In this case, uh, of course, the governance will be led by our community and governance will be rewarded. Validators will get rewards by how much they contribute to the sustainability. And who determines that? A machine learning algorithm which is based on the sustainable requirements of the United Nations. We didn't want to come up with a framework as the United Nations have, has already established a framework for what is sustainable and what is not. What are the sustainable development goals and what are the biggest problems, most uh, urgent and expensive problems in, 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 in the humanity right now. Uh, in addition to the sustainability aspects of uh, validating the chain, we have a new governance model which uh, assimilates uh, the Nordic uh, democracy's principles. Uh, it's a proprietary mechanism. It's uh, more different than, for example, let's say, uh, Polkadot governance or, for example, um, any other uh, chain governance models currently existent right there. Uh, as a second uh, unique selling point is definitely the fact that we don't store our our servers in World Wide Web. We store them in Web3, meaning that we have own servers on top of which we have top level domains and we own the Web3 internet at the level of having ownership of the uh, servers themselves from where we can issue DNS distributed domain names in our chain as well as in other chains and the environment will be cross-chain therefore you can send any type of asset let it be files let it be domain names let it be uh, NFTs let it be uh, music let it be uh, uh, any type of cryptocurrencies to your web link Let's assume uh, I'm Bill. So my name is Vilma. Therefore, let's assume Vilma .web3. I can send there, for example, my encrypted files. I can send there Solana. I can send there Kusama. I can send there Bitcoin. With a, you don't need to understand the private public key framework, and you don't need to understand uh, breaches. You don't need to hassle with breaches. You will have everything ready for you. So you, it's 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 no code. You don't need to understand anything about uh, infrastructure of blockchain and no code by no code i mean that you can write smart contracts without knowing solidity or rust you don't need to know any code because we have templates for smart contracts that's our third uh third unique selling point we have templates therefore you can just plug and play like it were wordpress and uh, then Fourth aspect that I would like to share with you is that we have phone number integrated to to the um, wallet. Therefore, you can send crypto to your phone number. That's pretty amazing as well. Uh, Cross-chain cryptocurrencies, any type of Bitcoin, Ethereum, you can just send it to your own phone number. In addition to that, we don't need to make hard fork when we upgrade. We are uh, self-upgradable, meaning that uh, we do not require to fork the chain for any major uh, chain upgrade. Uh, fifth point that I would like to mention is that uh, it's customizable. Therefore, you can change your, your Web3 link, you can customize your wallet, you can customize your governance board, you can uh, customize any aspects because it's in our own servers, it's not in World Wide Web. Uh, you can have public anonymous identity etc. In the next video, I will tell you a little bit more about the utilities of our current current DAP, DAPs on Firechain. Obviously, this is a community uh, project, so we invite as many people as possible to, to build on us. 
but uh, let's go right after this uh, with the use cases. Please stay tuned and, and for the next video and see you soon.